My daughter's always giving me skin products to try, and I always use them for a few days, and then I just get bored and stop. But since I started using One Skin, and that's today's sponsor, I've been using it twice a day without fail, and I'm not kidding. I've been using it around my eyes and on my face, and within a week, I'm already seeing differences. It's easy to use, and my skin really feels soft, and I think it looks healthier. I'm sure you know this already, but stress, hormone fluctuations, and a lack of sleep can affect your skin. From dry skin to dark spots and acne, your complexion may not be where it used to be, and that's totally normal. However, one skin can really help. I like this company. It's an all-women team of scientists, and they've developed a peptide called OS1, and it improves the health of your skin basically from inside out. In other words, it gets to the root of the problem. And as a physician, it's important to me that the benefits have been backed by studies. Now, for the first time, I'm recommending a skincare product to my daughter. So you can get started today with 15% off using the code TODDLERS at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with the code TODDLERS. Now, after you've purchased, they're going to ask you where you heard about them. So please let them know that Toddlers Made Easy referred you to them, as that's one way of supporting the show. Welcome to Toddlers Made Easy, where there's no fluff, just practical, research-based, 15-minute or less parenting strategies to help you calmly manage all those crazy awesome toddler moments. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Catherine, a pediatrician with more than 33 years of experience. I'm the author of two parenting books, the founder of Healthiest Baby, and most importantly, the mother of four amazing adult kids, and I just became a grandmother. Then there's also Smudge, my great big golden doodle. I wanted to start off today with an email I received from Wendy, who is a mom from New Jersey. Getting three-and-a-half-year-old Sophie to brush her teeth before bed is turning into the ultimate nightmare. I'm not joking. I've tried everything. I've gotten her the cool toothbrush with her favorite Disney princess. I even got some fun fruit-flavored toothpaste. But nope, she's not having it. She clamps her mouth shut tighter than a drum every time I even mention the word brush. Parenting is one wild ride. Well, Wendy... Thank you for sharing your struggles, and let me reassure you, you absolutely are not alone. This is a big problem for so many families. I'm going to ask you to take a moment and just imagine heading off to the dentist. Maybe you're thinking, yikes. Well, you're not exactly thrilled, but hey, you deal with it because you know it's important. But for a toddler who can't use logic because his brain is still under development, well, brushing teeth can feel like a full-on invasion of their personal space. It's like going to the dentist, but twice a day, every day. These little powerhouses are always on a mission to stake their claim to independence. So asking a toddler to brush their teeth can seem like we're infringing on their newfound autonomy. And just when you thought navigating this couldn't get any more challenging, we add bedtime into the equation. The end of the day shenanigans can be like a roller coaster ride. Your little one is exhausted, their patience is hanging by a thread. And brushing their teeth? Well, that's like a glaring billboard announcing bedtime's coming. Not exactly their top pick for a fun activity. And bedtime isn't just about lullabies and comfy hugs. It's the much-feared S-word for separation. So what's the game plan here, given all these problems? Well, we've got to turn toothbrushing into something fun and make it an activity that your toddler actually looks forward to. No, seriously, the secret sauce is all about keeping things light and enjoyable. Turn brushing teeth into looking for tigers or monkeys or cookies, whatever grabs your child's interest. Using the toothbrush, look here and then look there and then look on the top and then look on the back and look on the bottom. Be goofy and silly and this can become an event your child actually enjoys. And you know what? Playfulness actually lightens the mood. It helps everyone relax. And it gives your toddler that connection they really need before heading off to bed for the night. And here's a little something else. If you couple toothbrushing with a bedtime activity that your little one really enjoys, like, say, a calm story time with their favorite book or a gentle cuddle, 
Well, when you link brushing teeth to a fun activity, it becomes a more enjoyable experience on its own. What about those kids who clamp their mouth shut or just want to suck on the toothpaste? Well, the remedy for these brushing problems, it might seem a little bit out there, but here's the thing. Give your toddler the opportunity to do it themselves. Yeah, allow them to do all the steps involved in brushing their teeth on their own. Get them a stool so that you're able to reach things easily. Supervise them because they're playing with water and you need to be there. But let them take the cap off the toothpaste. Let them put just a dab of toothpaste on the toothbrush and let them brush their teeth on their own. Now, it might feel like you're inviting chaos, but believe me, this method can work wonders, particularly for those kids who clam up at the very hint of brushing teeth. It gives your kid a sense of independence, and it can really reduce the resistance quickly. And of course, don't forget to swoop in for a quick check and clean up once they've had their turn. As far as toothpaste goes, teach your child the right amount, especially if they're going to do it on their own. But let me remind you as well, a little bit of toothpaste goes a long way, especially for toddlers. So for those little ones under three, just a smidgen of toothpaste is needed, about the size of a grain of rice. That's all you need. But once they're up for those big leagues, let's say from age three to six, you can level up the toothpaste quantity to a pea-sized dollop. Now that you've got a few strategies to manage toothbrushing battles, do you want some help with siblings, mealtime, or potty training challenges? You'll find links to both freebies and courses in the show notes. Have a great week and happy parenting.